I'm Cheryl and welcome to the third season of Worth the Fit. This time we bring you to the heart of Rivervale and we'll show you how to get a workout in your own neighbourhood. And with me today is J.E. Hi Cheryl, hey it's J.E. I'm a Pilates bar and spin instructor and today I prepared 10 exciting moves for you that you can do in your own local fitness corner. Let's go! So there are three exercises that you can do at the horizontal ladder. Knee ups. Hold onto the handlebar, relax your shoulders and then slowly lift your knees towards your chest. Try to go slow and steady so you're not arching your back and you're also not swinging your body forward and back. Windshield wipers, this is an advancement from knee ups. First, you have your knees close to your chest and then you bring the knees to the left and to the right. Sit ups, slot your feet underneath the bar and lie down on your back. Have your hands behind your head. Exhale to curl up. Use your abs to curl up and not your neck. For progression, you can add a twist to your sit-up. Bulgarian split squats. Place one leg on the bar and the other leg right in front of you. And then very gently lower your body, press through your front foot and lift yourself up again. At this pole, I like to do what we call the abs crusher. Sit down on your bums, have your hands supporting yourself on the sides. Squeeze the inner thighs together and extend both legs towards the left and then to the right and then split it apart. To make this harder, we will go up and down instead. If you want to make this even harder, release both hands and use just your core to support yourself. The pistol squat is a one-legged squat and you can use the parallel bars as a handlebar. With just one leg supporting your weight, extend the other out and slowly squat down towards the floor before using just one leg to stand back up again. Keep your leg as straight as possible. Lunge and kick. Holding onto the parallel bar, step back into a reverse lunge and use the same leg to kick forward. To advance as you kick forward at a little hop. Plie and curtsy. Holding onto the handlebar, we step open legged in a second position where your toes are pointing out to the side. You squat and then step the leg behind your ankles into a curtsy. Make sure that you're just stepping behind the ankles and not too far out. At this bench, we can work on tricep dips. We start with our knees bent, placing your hands on the bench. Keep the elbows tight, bend the elbows and extend again. At all times, try to keep your body as close to the bench as possible. We can advance now by keeping both legs straight instead. We can advance further by placing one leg on top of the other. Incline push-ups and chest taps. Placing both hands on the bench now, Keep the body in a long straight line. Drop the chest between your palms and avoid arching your back, keeping a neutral spine. Each time you press down and up, lift one hand and tap the shoulders and return again. Step ups. Use one leg to step onto the bench and then bring the other leg to chest at the top. Keep the body tall at all times and you can use your arms to support you. For progression, we can do box jumps. Start in the squat position, jump to the top of the bench Stand up tall and come back down again. So those are the 10 exercises and you can do them in turbo style with 30 seconds work and 15 seconds break. Or you can do it set rep style, 10 reps per exercise and then do 3 rounds of everything. Wow, it's amazing how you can work out the entire body in such a small space. That's right, and there are no excuses, especially if this is just around your neighbourhood. So be good and come and try the exercises. Bye-bye. <laughs>